The government contracts signed in lockdown have been ruled unlawful by the High Court, yet the establishment and the mainstream media don't seem to be too concerned about this story. Yes, we have heard the headlines, we've seen a bit of mention in uh, the mainstream media about how some of these contracts, the, the VIP lane that they created, is uh, not all the contracts obviously, they're the VIP lane that they created so that they could do a fast track for certain suppliers. And some of them, weird coincidence, happen to have either links to government ministers or ministers and MPs lobbied on their behalf. You know, a neighbor could text someone or, you know, something like that. Now, the High Court now ruled against them, saying that the, the whole concept was unlawful. Um, they have also clarified, saying that, well, just to double check, you know, we, we have to say that some of these companies, they probably would have been awarded these contracts anyway. I'm not really sure why that's necessary to say, because it, it's just bad practice. You have to make sure you call it out. If you're part of the high court and, and as judges, of course, you have to say that uh, we have to clarify that, you know, some of these companies could still be deserved. You know, the, the, the contracts that they've received, fine. But you can't really condone this behavior of VIP lane or fast track route for companies that have links to politicians. And so, so for example, there have been a couple of companies, specifically Pestfix and also um, Ianda, who have, uh, again, been part of this specific scandals that we had. One of them was the fact that ministers lobbied uh, the civil servants in Whitehall over the PP contracts. And these two companies were part of that story. Uh, but also the, one of these smaller companies, funnily enough, they had between 10 to 20 staff members. And then when the government, uh, when they first announced the, the value for the contract, they said 108 million pounds for PPE. Then they said, oh, guys, it was an error. It, it's, it's overvalued. <laughs> it's, it's not really 108 million pounds. That's not the point. There was no scrutiny. There was absolutely no accountability when it comes to these contracts. And, you know, I've always said there's, there's also a bigger problem in other areas of government that we don't really talk about. For example, MOD, when it comes to defense contracts. There's a lot of dodgy stuff happens there every day anyway. But let's talk about basic health department contracts. And, and also some of these um, contracts that happened in lockdown and were not directly linked to the health department. They also obviously had to get other supplies so that the whole country could be run by Big Brother and the state because we can't run our own lives. You need to have big government telling you how to live your life. That's the reality. <laughs> but uh, but we have to call it out. And that's why I, I thought I'd kind of make, make this video to let you guys know exactly the details because again, well, the BBC on Sky might mention that, you know, oh, yeah, the VIP lanes have been ruled unlawful. They don't really explain the reality. Uh, so I thought I'd kind of make this quick update for you guys. If you want to share this video with everyone, then feel free to do that. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell next to it. I'm going to come back with more updates throughts the day. Thanks again for watching. I'm my TC and we are the media.